Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be talking all about Ohm's Law math. So let's go ahead and look at our equation for Ohm's Law. It is V equals IR, and we're going to be using this triangle to help us solve these math problems really, really simply, okay? So how you do this is whatever variable you're looking for, you're going to cover it up, and the other two are going to show you what math to do. So I'm going to give you some examples and I'm going to explain this as we go. But we first need to get into what are our variables and what are our SI units. So let's take a look at that. So our first one, V, is for voltage. And the SI unit for voltage is volts. And you can just write a V for that in your units. Um, now when you see this on the triangle, if you are looking for volts, you're going to cover up that V so we can just kind of cross it out or cover it up with your fingers, okay? And you can see that I and R are left and they are next to one another. So they're side by side. If they're side by side, this is just like in math class. So if variables are side by side in math class, we multiply. So you're gonna multiply them. So V equals I R or I times R, okay? All right, moving on, I equals current. So that's gonna be our current flow. And the SI units are amps, or you may um, hear as uh, ampers. And this is going to be an A or capital A. Um, and it's going to be the same thing with the triangle. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cover up that I if that is what you're looking for. And now you're going to do what the math says. So in math class, if we have a variable over the other variable, that's going to be like a fraction, right? So you're really dividing. So because the V is on top and then the line and then the R, it's going to be V divided by R. So that's how you write it. So I equals V divided by R. If you do that math in your calculator, you're going to get the answer for current. And then our last one is R equals resistance. And resistance is going to be measured in ohms. Now, ohms is this really weird looking upside down horseshoe symbol, right? Um, now, if we look at our triangle for resistance, you're going to see that if we cross out our R, um, what is left is a V over top of an I. So remember, when it's over top of one another, it's kind of like a fraction. So we're really just dividing in our calculator. So R equals V divided by I, and that's going to get us our answer for resistance. So let's try a couple problems and see if we know how to do this. So what current flows through a toaster plugged into a 120 volt circuit if it has a resistance of 20 ohms? So we need to look and see what we're given and start writing those down, okay? So first we need to know what the current is, right? And it's telling us we have 120 volts, so that's gonna be our V, and then 20 ohms, which ohms is our resistance or R. So we're gonna use our triangle, make sure you write that down, it's gonna be very, very helpful. Go ahead and cross out what you're looking for. So we're looking for current, so we're gonna cross out that I, right? That's gonna leave us the I equals V over R because you see the V is on top, divided by the R on the bottom. Now write down what you're given. We have 120 volts, so V equals 120. And then we know we have 20 ohms, which is resistance. You can go ahead and write that down. And all we have to do now is substitute that in and put it in our calculator. So I equals the V, which is our 120 volts, divided by our R over here, so 20 um, ohms, if you type that in your calculator, you're gonna get the answer of six. Now remember that current is measured in amps. So go ahead and add that A for your answer's units. Let's try another one. An electric heater passes a current of 110 amps through a coiled metal wire, making it hot. If the resistance of the wire is 1.5 ohms, what voltage must be applied to it? So again, let's go ahead and annotate a little bit, right? So we know we have 110 amps and we're working with 1.5 ohms and we're really searching for our voltage, okay? So look at your triangle, go ahead and cross out that V for voltage because that's what we want to know. And we're left with um, the I and the R next to one another, which means we're going to be multiplying. So our equation that we're going to use is V equals IR. Now if we go ahead and write down our knowns or our givens, we have current equals 110 amps and resistance equals 1.5 ohms and those are underlined for you right here. All we have to do now is substitute in our variables and solve with our calculator, and that's it. So we're doing this V equals IR. So V equals 110 amps, that's our I, and times our R, which is the 1.5 ohms, and multiply that in your calculator, you get 165. Now remember, because our, our um, 
variable we're searching for is voltage, it's going to be measured in volts. So go ahead and add that V as a unit for the end of your answer. Let's try one more. A stereo speaker needs a voltage of 110 volts to push a current of 4.5 amps through its coil. What is the resistance of the speaker? So again, let's go ahead and annotate. So we have 110 volts and we have 4.5 amps and we're really searching for the resistance. So let's go ahead and bring up our triangle. Let's cross out that resistance because that's the one we're looking for, right? And we're gonna end up with a V over the I. So it's V equal, I mean, sorry, it's R equals V over I. So we're gonna be dividing this time. Write down what you know. You know that voltage is 110 volts and you know that our current is 4.5 amps. And now we just need to substitute in those variables and solve with our calculator. So we're using this one right here. The R equals the V, which is 110 volts divided by our I or current, which is 4.5 amps. If you put that in your calculator, you're gonna get 24.4. Remember that this is resistance and resistance is measured in ohms. You can write out ohms or you can put the ohm symbol, which is a funny looking upside down horseshoe, right? I hope this was so helpful for you guys, thanks. Hey everybody, if this was helpful to you guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see all the new videos I'm posting on Science Explained. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.